Hi everyone, this time I really wanted to make a video about mechanical watch repair, but when I saw this broken Tissot T-Touch, I decided to buy it. So it will postpone some unfinished mechanical projects. The issue with this one is that the hour hand moves only counterclockwise and the watch is not fully functional. It doesn't show the right hour, compass doesn't work right, and also touch function indicator doesn't work. My first diagnosis, even before I bought it, was that the stepping motor was broken. Probably the magnetic coil is broken. Maybe I assumed this because in the past I repaired an EVC Schafthausen with a broken stepping motor. There were no parts available, so I decided to rewind the magnetic coil with wire thinner than human hair by myself at home without a professional rewinder. It works, but I have only photos of this process. And Tissot with the same failure would be a good video footage. But as it turns out later, the problem with Tissot will be elsewhere. So it is better not to make too many assumptions at the beginning. I start by removing the case back. It's good to use some foil to protect the watch case. To remove movement, the ring which holds it has to be unscrewed. I took a simple case opener, but I decided that I need something which is more stable. I put movement in the case holder and used a 3-pin opener. Now I can use simple wooden stick to just unwind the ring. I use a case opener to remove the movement from the watch case. Before the recording I have prepared a completely new movement, but it turns out that it is designed for the first generation Tissot and it's okay because I will have fun with actually repairing this watch, not only swapping movement. Now I'm going to remove the battery from the battery hole. The battery cover is sealed and water resist because the case back has holes. A hole in the case is present because the pressure sensor needs access to the environment to work. Just under the battery there is a movement electronic circuit. When I remove the battery I notice that something had grown out of this circuit. Probably some acid from the battery made some damage on the circuit surface and maybe there is something wrong with the paths at the circuit. I decided that I have to clean this, although I didn't uncover the whole circuit. I use isopropanol for cleaning. Yeah, but before this I actually need to remove the o-ring which seals the battery cover. Isopropanol is very useful in my hobby. I use it in many cases in mechanical watches and like in this example in quartz watches. Some kind of salt formed when the circuit reacted with battery acid. I can remove it quite uh, easily with the air buds. There are test points on the electronic circuit. These points are not protected by the mm, varnish layer. The acid literally ate those points on the circuit board.
So this can be the issue why the watch doesn't work right. I'm using liquid silver, a special varnish to recreate broken puffs. It could be tricky because the space between puffs is limited. I decided to make round points. It looks not exactly as I wanted, but I checked that the paths are connected correctly. I have to wait a few hours for the silver varnish to dry. Now I'm installing the battery in the watch. I check if the watch is working and we have great success. It works all right. The watch hands move in both directions and the watch shows the right hour. Thank you all for watching. The next video should be about the mechanical watch but you never know what the future holds. Anyway, I have two mechanical watches that are waiting to be repaired and one quartz watch that will need a circuit board transplantation because I can't buy the right one anywhere and there is no donor 